Hi guys, the new uh, masking functions of Lightroom Classic are amazing, but there is just one thing missing and I will demonstrate it here for you. If I have a bird like here and it's quite uh, dark um, or a little bit uh, low exposed photograph uh, and you want to rise the bird only, uh, in this case, you probably do it better with objects. Then I have here selected the object brush. Just draw around my bird. And then I fill everything here. Takes a little while. Okay. That gives you the better selection than a select object. And I have here now my bird selected. And uh, if you zoom in for each to each 400%, you see there are here some imperfections, some kind of noise artifacts uh, occurring. And um, in this special case, I want for I want, for example, uh, I just call this first bird. Then I select here with the de with the dots on the main uh, mask, yeah, however it is called. <laughs> I say duplicate and invert mask. By the way, uh, I just undo it. Uh, if you, for example, make the bird here brighter with the curves, which is thankfully um, has been added to the masks. And you now select duplicate and invert mask, uh, the filter is reset. So the dupli duplicate and invert mask does not copy the filter settings. And this is totally okay, like so. And now I make the background, for example, a little bit darker. And do you know what, what's happening now? Now I get here this fringing. This can be uh, solved by two methods. First of all, you start with the bird mask and uh, I, just, uh, I just make a copy of this duplicate bird. Then uh, I'm working with the copy, switching off the visibility of the my main mask. Uh, you can do this by, for example, by selecting a, subtra a subtract brush, mm -hmm. then uh, let's zoom in to, let's say, 200%. And with this uh, subtraction brush, you can now start to, let's say, auto mask. Auto mask is here good because uh, you do not have greens in the pl plumage of the bird. So for that you can sample here and just remove uh, everything what's pixelated, but that's just uh, quite a little bit, uh, yeah, uh, shall I say, it, a little bit of slow workflow. Uh, you have to drag and paint everything until until you get a fringe free oops yeah now i made a mistake ctrl z because the mouse was just jumping uh, before you get a fringe free mask so if you take this and say now uh, duplicate and invert mask and um, lower the background just might happen that you get here fringes like that and there would be a possibility to easily um, avoid this if just Adobe had added a intersection between different masks and not only intersection within the mask. Let me explain it what I mean. I'm just now getting back to my old situation. Delete uh, bird copy inverted, delete bird copy, okay, now I have here my bird, 
and I have my background. Let's call this background. Oops. What I'm talking about is how to get rid of these fringes. Uh, that is kind of an easy thing. I just uh, let's uh, first of all let's uh, reset the mask here. Reset the curve. It's the only thing I modified. Uh, I make a copy. Uh, where is it? Duplicate background. I make a copy of this background. Go to 100%, then you can see it more easy. And uh, then uh, I need to intersect this mask for getting only the fringes masked. And for that I have to do the same process uh, like before. I want now uh, to intersect the mask with, with an object. As object I have my brush selected and now I can select again, like I did it right before, my bird. And the problem with that method is uh, Lightroom is now doing a very similar object calculation, but not exactly the same one. And that's the problem. Just wait a second then I can explain you what I'm talking about. See, now I have here only with the intersection the fringes uh, masked, but it's a new calculation. So for that this object selection differs from the one we did on BERT. And uh, if I now just drop the background with the curve I still have here the fringes and if I had an exactly selection, uh, if it would be possible to intersect between the bird and the background mask, what is not possible, I could not go here now to the background mask and with a little bit uh, bringing down this, I could remove this fringing. But now, because it's two different calculation, it never fits. And uh, it would be nice if Adobe could add here something uh, that I can, for example, uh, make a duplicate from the background. And on the background, there should be added here a possibility intersect mask with, and then here a list of already existing masks should be offered and that would get a perfect intersection selection for bringing down the this fringing by separately slightly um, modifying the curve maybe adobe is watching my video but i probably don't think so however uh, maybe someone has contacts to adobe and uh, can a little bit push this idea hey guys Bye.